Good morning, students. I'm going to spend just a little bit of time going through what we did in class on Thursday, the 27th. So if you were not available for class or if you need to go back and review this, here is uh, the presentation that we went through during class. So this is our digital, digital citizenship and class ex expectations for our extended digital learning. The platform that we will use for learning in all cases for this year is Google Classroom. So it is our main platform for learning. In Google Classroom, you will be able to find daily agendas. You will be able to find assignments. Um, you will be able to find your Google link um, for the meet that we do. You can check your email for updates and feedbacks, um, but you can also check for updates and feedback in Google Classroom. All of your assignments must be submitted through Google Classroom, and I will be putting up optional enrichment activities in Google Classroom on Mondays and Wednesdays. Google Classroom, like I said, is our main platform for learning. And let's take a look over here in Google Classroom. I'm gonna use my third period. This is what Google Classroom looks like when you go into it. Here is our Meet link and you will click on this link um, and join the meeting, um, jo join the Google Meet. This is kind of like digging through a stack of papers where everything is in here together. This is not my favorite part of Google Classroom. I prefer to use classwork. However, on this page, you can see, if you click on view all here, you can see everything that is coming up. Um, for me, this shows the graded view. For you guys, it'll show whether you've turned something in, whether it's missing, and so on. What I like to use within this view uh, or within the classroom is classwork. So if I click on classwork up here at the top, there are three topics that I have in here now, and I probably will add another one for enrichment. This is where you can find your information. So under basic information, there's a daily slides. Uh, once you go onto your daily slide, you just click on it, it will open up. And this will show you um, basic information about when homework is due, when we have a Google Meet, and um, just some uh, office hours, small group reminders. That's all over here on this uh, little chalkboard. There we go. Um, here in the middle is the whiteboard. And so this will be telling you what our topic is for the day. And it will also take you through the learning targets that you need to, to uh, be able to do for that class period. Over here, this right side, you can find um, upcoming things. So we'll have um, some various things over here. So your current homework and then um, upcoming homework will be there as well. Each of these little links will take you to something that you need um, for class or that you might need for class. So here I am, here's Scout, um, saying hi to everybody. Okay, as you move on through here, um, we will put the daily assignments in. Um, and so as we just looked at those daily assignments, our live sessions will be in here. For uh, yesterday's live session, I've put in uh, the Pear Deck link. So you can go in and link to that and you can go ahead and do the assignment that we did during our live session. Um, this is how I think that I will continue to do uh, makeup work. So after the session, your makeup work will be in the live session. You're welcome to email me if you miss the session and I can uh, direct you where to go. Your homework will be in this section. So your scavenger hunt is right here. I'll go through that with you at the end of this presentation. Google Meet link, you already know where that is because you've used that before, but it is up at the top. It's the head, it's part of the header um, when you open up your Google Classroom in a specific class. If you're unable to attend the Meet, you will need to take a look at the makeup work for that Meet. You probably need to check 
daily for updates and feedback. We give you, most of your teachers will give you um, feedback within your assignments, and we're going to work on that in the upcoming week or so. Um, if you email, so if you're emailing one of your teachers, please make sure that you use correct grammar. Please make sure that you use professional language. It's not a text. It is actually an email. Um, I will answer emails during office hours, 9 to 12 on Monday morning, 5 to 6 on Wednesday. I probably will answer otherwise, uh, but those are times when I will spend extra time um, trying to make sure that I'm caught up. Also, when you email, um, I've seen several students email me with the whole text of the email in the subject. The subject is just what you're going to talk about, and then there's a whole place where you can put the body of the email. I will probably, um, in the next couple of days, um, upload a little short video clip on how to write an email and how to put it in, like how to put the different parts in your email. All assignments must be submitted through Google Classroom, so you cannot share assignments with me. Um, I, I don't grade anything that's shared with me. You, if you have something that you need to attach, you have to actually attach it within the assignment. If it's something that you have written or um, that you've done otherwise, make sure that your name is on that assignment. I will usually mark grades in Google Classroom, uh, but I will always mark them in Infinite Campus. If you need to correct anything, those corrections also have to be submitted through Google Classroom. I'll put in optional enrichment activities on Mondays and Wednesdays, and so you'll just need to check Google Classroom if you want to do those. The basic idea for digital citizenship is that our classroom will function the same way that it will function when you are in person. So um, your comments should be on topic and they should be school appropriate. Um, when you join your Google Meet, make sure that your mic is muted you are not required to turn on the camera. Um, if you're not going to use your camera, please update your avatar so that it's a picture of yourself or something that's school appropriate that reflects on your personality. When you turn your camera on, please make sure that you are wearing school appropriate clothing so that if you aren't going to show up to school in what you have on, then that should not be showing up in your camera. Um, we will have interactive portions for every single Google Meet, and you are expected to participate in those. Okay, that's our basic idea for the um, overall expectations, what our platform will look like, and what digital citizenship expectations will look like. There are some, um, uh, there are some Pear Deck slides within this presentation. You will need to click on the Pear Deck link go to that and actually fill this out for full participation in the live session. You can click very quickly through the slides that I went through, um, but then you'll need to get down to um, there are two question breaks and an exit slip. So there are three things that you'll need to fill out within Pear Deck. So please make sure that you do that. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in class on Tuesday.